Right there where you are. Now you take any song of praises in your own mouth and sing it loud. To the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. How great is His name? How great is His Lord? Forever the same. You rule like the water of the mighty Red Sea. And he said, I never leave you, but you trust him. Amen. Let there be silence, beloved. The Lord has some strange works to do in the midst. Please don't say anything unless I ask you to talk. Right now, this place has been surrounded by the angels of the living God. Close your eyes, beloved, and concentrate on Jesus on the cross. There are some strange works to do here. There is someone here. The enemy has actually put a coffin inside of you. A tiny coffin. And it has been troubling your destiny and confusing your life. Right there where you are, there's a volcanic eruption in your stomach and your womb. And the coffin of darkness that is inside of you is coming out there are three persons here this morning your life will have been so sweet and beautiful if not for something a native doctor gave you to swallow many years ago anytime good things are coming your way this internal enemy will chase them away right away you are the power of God is coming upon you and that which that native doctor has given to you to swallow is being taken out by the angels of the living God that is the first person over there. That's number two. On verse number three. Something is about to happen to seven women here. A man had collected the virtues away through sex many, many years ago. And now these men are now prospering and you are becoming poor. The power of God is going to fall upon those seven women and their virtue that have been stolen shall rush back like wind and fire back into their lives that's the first woman number two number three four five six that's number seven I congratulate those women aha as many people are saying this garden this morning and a close relative who is into witchcraft is the one bothering your destiny is the one troubling your destiny. Whatever has been put on you to trouble your destiny, the power of God will fall upon you now and those things will be shifted away. But be shifted away. Be shifted away. Be shifted away. Depart from the head. Depart from the chest. Depart from the legs. Depart. 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 In the name of Jesus. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken. By the reason of anointing, every yoke. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must. Every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Be broken every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Masakaya Boshita Kabaka Santa.
With a voice louder than anyone around you. A voice that shows no compromise. A voice of enough is enough. You will shout this loud and clear. Loud and clear. Yoke of backwardness. Yoke of frustration. Yoke of stagnation. Can you shout that loud and clear? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yoke of backwardness, yoke of frustration, yoke of stagnation. Please, those angels are still around. And the more violent you are, the better for you here today. Can I hear you shouting out again? my fire in the name of Jesus Masatela Kaya Boshandaraba Aha Continue continue Jesus name we pray Father we thank you for this morning and we praise your holy name because you are our rock you are our strength accept our thanks in Jesus name Father we are gathered at this particular edition of prayer minister to us by your power lay your hands upon our lives in Jesus name we pray Let's have a seat for a few minutes. God bless you. In the book of Matthew chapter 11, the strategy of violent prayers, the strategy of violent prayers. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, the strategy of violent prayers. Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. 
The first point I like you to understand in this particular edition of prayer is that there are prayers and there are prayers. There are enemies and there are enemies. A person who is battling a principality is different from a person facing just a tiny demon. There are weapons and there are weapons. And in the armory of the Almighty, there's plenty of assorted weapons. God has an armory, the enemy has an armory. But whenever a problem becomes stubborn, whenever the enemy is on an agenda to kill and to destroy, whenever the enemy is now ready to bury alive, the only way out are the violent prayers. Violent prayers are needed these days to bring many stubborn situations to an end. Stubborn prayers are needed to bring stubborn situations to a close. I want you to understand this very, very well. As a young Christian, I had no clue what is meant by violent prayers. Let me tell you a short story about how this form of prayers we pray in Mountain of Fire started. The prayers were not land on the bed of comfort. I want you to understand that one. I was in a place... They serve people food. And the, the food was not too much. So it's two person to one plate, two person to one plate, two person to one plate. So all the, about five of, five or six people were there. Oh, the first go pray. Father bless this for Christ's sake in Jesus name. Amen. The normal official prayer on food. Second one to pray. Bless this for Christ's sake. Amen. In Jesus name. Group three. The man that was asked to pray started off by reading some two. Why did the nations who fooled us reach together? Why did people imagine everything? And he went on and on and on. Jump to Psalm 3. Why are there so plenty that trouble me? And when there are those that are rising up against me? Went on that Psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. We shall have the Lord is the strength of my love. And we shall have the Lord is now. The others are eating their food halfway. The man was still reading the Psalms on the food. His colleague was becoming impatient. Anyway, he read 21 Psalms. Before now starting to eat. His friend hissed. And I said, ah, excuse me, sir. Ah, why? <laughs> this why so long, praying on food and reading so many Psalms. He looked at my face. He said, you're a small boy. Small boy. He said, I've been poisoned three times. And this Psalm, you had me reading now. I didn't memorize them out of comfort. I memorized them out of hardship. I was a young Christian. The church I went to, they didn't teach us how to fight any warfare. We did more of dancing on Sundays. We take a minimum of 10 offerings. And the offering is not, there is no usher. No usher will bring anything to you where you are sitting. They put a plate at the front. You have to dance to the front and dance back to your seat. So by the time you finish 10 circle of dancing in the service, you're already tired. And by the time the sermon starts, all oh, people are already yearning. And sermon, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and everybody will go home. No one understood warfare. Something happened. That day I was passing by and a lady called me. Said, Danny, 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 come, 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 come. There is this, there is, there is, there is this fry pan on the fire. It has caught fire. Help me to remove it. Help me to remove it. So I ran there to help the young lady. True. There was fry pan on the fire and the thing has caught fire. I got to the door of the kitchen. I did not go past that door and I was not sleeping. I was wide awake in my presence like this. I saw the oil boiling inside, the, f- the fire boiling inside the fry pan. It lifted up like a ball. It changed direction. I was coming towards me. Like a ball of fire. For some reason, I couldn't leave where I was standing. Bam! It landed on my leg. The leg began to roast. I screamed, my leg, my leg, my leg! Three men came. Hey, the first one said, hey, hey, hey. Let's put ice water. What man said, no, 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 ice water is not good. Let us put ogi. I said, no, 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 ogi is not good. Let us crack egg and put it there. And the three of them will started to argue. Egg, water, egg, water, egg, water, ogi, egg, water. While they were arguing, my leg was roasting more. And I was shouting, please make, take a decision, take a decision. Eventually, they decided on ice water. By that time, my leg was badly burned. So I was stuck at home for weeks. I couldn't go to school. And they were treating that leg. That was many, many, many years ago. 
We're talking about the early 70s. And those were the last time I took an injection because of that leg. Now, I couldn't go to school because that leg was so swollen and so sore, you cannot move with it. Eventually, after some time, the leg healed a little bit. And I started going to school with one leg inside the shoe, one leg on the ground. I got to school that day. When they ring a bell that everybody should go to class, everybody will run to class. The result of an examination was out. All of us were looking at the result on the notice board. So I was one of them looking at the result. And they rang the bell. Back to classroom. All the boys ran back to class. But because I had one and a half legs, I couldn't run. So this one man there called Ken Master, who used to chase boys into class. He thought I was just making a call, making younger. That's why I was moving slowly. In order to avoid his cane, I fell down again. And I broke my hand. So, with a bad leg, they rushed me to Gobi again. To put P.O.P. on my hand. Here was I. One leg was out of action. One hand is also broken. And I was going to church. So that night I was on my bed. And I heard a voice from heaven. I said, son, don't you know that the enemy does not want you to take your final examination? Your leg is bad. Your hand is broken. If you don't start violent prayers, they will kill you. It was on that bed. I started praying the kind of prayers we are praying now. I'm praying for somebody here. That the violent prayer you are going to pray today will disgrace your stubborn enemy. Let your amen be loud. Let your amen be loud. What are violent prayers? Prayers that demand that what must be, must be. When you are looking at something, you know what it's supposed to be. But it is not what it's supposed to be. Violent prayers demand that what ought to be, must be. Violent prayers demand that what ought to be, must be. What are violent prayers? Prayers to make those hired against you to fall after the order of Balaam. Balaam raised seven altars. Seven altars against the people of Israel. Violent prayers are prayers that make their altars to turn against the priests. What are violent prayers? The prayers that make the enemy to die in your place. It's wonderful to note. Uh, many general overseers and bishops that used to criticize the prayer that stubborn problems should die are now praying it themselves. When they saw a little bit of pepper from the enemy, they prayed. Violent prayers are prayers that bring down the fire of God. Violent prayers are prayers from the formula of the desperate cry. Violent prayers are prayers resulting from holy madness. Violent prayers are prayers to arrest the arresters. Violent prayers are words charged with fire. Charged with Holy Ghost fire. To fight spiritual wars. Violent prayers are Mount Camel prayers. That Elijah prayed. Fire fell. Violent prayers are enough is enough prayers. Violent prayers are prayers that swallows problems. They don't negotiate. Violent prayers are prayers that create greater snakes to swallow the snakes of the enemy. Violent prayers are prayers that scare the enemy. Violent prayers are prayers that use the anger of God as a weapon. Violent prayers are prayers that use the arrows of God as weapons. Violent prayers are prayers of the widow who said, avenge me of my adversaries. Avenge me of my adversaries. Violent prayers are prayers that use the acts of God for fighting. I see the acts of God rising up today to cut to pieces that coven that is troubling your life. In the name of Jesus. Violent prayers are prayers to blast the altars of the enemy. Violent prayers are prayers that uses the weapon of blindness against the enemy. Violent prayers are prayers that will use the blood of Jesus. Violent prayers is prayer after the order of Moses that put boils on the body of the enemy. Violent prayers are prayers that, that will introduce the broom of destruction to sweep off the enemy. 
Violent prayer is prayer that will bring forth evil angels to begin to fight against the enemy. Violent prayer is the prayer that uses the rod of iron to break into pieces the congregation of the enemy. Violent prayers are prayers that will use terrifying noises to chase the enemy out of their hiding places. Therefore, when a situation becomes stubborn, when the situation becomes the kind of situation that will take your own life, then what you need now is those prayers of violence. But who can pray violent prayers successfully? Number one, people who have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Two, those who have repented from all known sins. Three, those who are living holy lives. Four, those who are desperate. Desperate. Desperate for a change. Desperate for transformation. Five, those who are not ready to give up. Persistent people. Those are the people who do violent prayers. There was riot somewhere. And some people went to attack a child of God. And they surrounded where she was. And she looked at them through the window. And said, go away from here. If you don't go away, I shall not hesitate to call on the God of Elijah against you. They did not respond. The lady started the prayers. Was the leader of the team who first of all some assaulted. I said, my stomach, my stomach, my stomach. The others ran away. When the enemy is not going to rest until they take your blood, then use your most potent weapon. We are going to pray some of those prayers here today to bring some situations to a close. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. And all eyes closed. Just in case you are here this day and you are here to surrender your life to Jesus, I want to appeal to you to do that very quickly so that you'll be in a position to pray the kind of prayers I want you to pray now. So if you are here this morning, say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to fight my warfare. Just leave that seat and come out very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you here. Just come out and come out and come out very quickly. Say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to fight the war and win. Find a way to get up very quickly. Just at the altar, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. Close your eyes. Bow down your head. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, I know you died for me. I know that I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, forgive me all my sins. And lay your hands upon me. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. And I thank you for your grace upon them. Father, lay your hands upon them. Bless them mightily. Do great and marvelous things in their lives. It shall be well with you. The Lord will bless you. This decision today will be permanent in your life. And it will write your name in the book of life. The sun will not smite you by day not the moon by night. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. Put your eyes and look at us here. You've taken a very important decision, the most important decision in life. Just follow this pastor here. Then you can join us later. Thank you, Jesus. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah! Right there where you are. I'd like you to bow down your heads and ask the Lord to forgive you of any sin that will make your prayers to be ineffective here today. Ask Him to forgive you. It is important that you do this very well so that when you start praying now, things will start happening at a fast rate. Jesus is here and His power is in this place. He has never failed. It will never fail. It will speak to your situation here today. And the situation will bow to the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The kind of prayers I want you to pray now. They are not prayers that you expect it to work tomorrow, next tomorrow, next week. No. The prayers are for those who want instant results. And those who are not ready to give God an alternative or to negotiate with the enemy. As you pray this first prayer, if you are here in this meeting and the doctors have told you that there is a problem in your womb, find a way to this altar and be on your knees. Something is about to happen. Evil Lord is about to go back to the senders. During this meeting, doctor said there is something wrong with that womb. Come straight to the altar and bear your knees. If you are a husband head, you can stand in gap for your wife if you like. Everybody will shout this with boiling anger. Make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours. Every power assigned to rubbish my life. Can you shout this loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Bakate satalakanda. Yes. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. Sisters at the altar. Stretch your arms towards this place now. Your right hand towards this place. Father. Let the anointing for spiritual surgery fall upon these hands now. Let his hands be the hands of the great physician. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God fall upon his hands now. In the name of Jesus. Use that hand now to slap your womb seven times. Aha. Get yourself ready. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and lay the hands on their womb there. Something is happening now. You defy blood planted into the womb by the stubborn spirit husband. Come out now in the name of Jesus. You the problem with the ovaries, the problem with the fallopian tubes. Catch fire, 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 catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Beginning from today, the problem in that womb, you shall see them no more. In the name of Jesus. 
Something is still happening here. That is actually a spiritual surgery taking place. Something like a living thing inside that womb. It's coming out. Thank you, Jesus. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. The hand of God has touched you today. Glory be to the name of Jesus. As you pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting today and the enemy has used the chain of depth to tie you down, find a way to this altar and be on your knees. The enemy has used the chain of depth to tie you down. Find a way to this altar and be on your knees. Those of you coming out of this altar, pray the way you have never prayed before. Cry in a desperate cry to heavens. Can I hear everybody shouting this loud and clear? Poverty power of my father's house. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Captain Santa. Louder. Or put your mouth and pray it. Pasapi katala. Ria bokatandaka. Yes, be released. Be released from their grip. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I pray for your children at the altar here. That right there where you are, the prosperity that will swallow every debt. Receive it now. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon your life that within 10 days from now you will have a turnaround breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Any power sitting on your own money, let those power be unseated now. In the name of Jesus. Every power contesting for your wealth, I bury that power now. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Something has happened in your life today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As you pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting today, anytime you pray about your problems, you always see a particular face. A particular person will show up. Find a way to this altar to be on your knees. Pray with an enough is enough spirit. This is not a day to negotiate. If you are afraid, don't bother to pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers assigned to bury my destiny. Before the end of today. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Riba Likatanda Bakapia Likasanta De Ribo Soponde Ketela Kayabo Shanta Pana Cantenda Rabo Sopola Katenda Yabo Shanta Receive the touch of heaven Receive it Receive it Receive it Receive it Thank you Jesus In Jesus' name we pray. I decree upon your life that the forces of Pharaoh, stubborn Pursua, that have refused to let you go within 24 hours, let them be buried. 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 In the name of Jesus. And it shall be well with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Something is happening to somebody here. Your father has stolen your virtue and transferred it to his own self. Right there where you are. 
The power of God is coming upon you. Aha. 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 As you pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting and you are hearing this silent voice in your spirit telling you, you are going to die. You are going to die. Silent voice in your spirit. You have been trying to suppress it. What is talking? Find a way to this altar and be on your knees. Don't, uh, those of you at the front know for sure that you are here to battle the spirit of death and hell. Let your voice be loud and pray violently. Shout this after me loud and clear. Those of you in your seat, you don't keep quiet. Powers assigned to terminate my life. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Louder, 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 louder. This is not a day to come here and negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Yes, that's the street of death coming out. Aha. Those of you at the altar here, begin to shake your head. Your head is a symbol of your destiny. Shake it, shake it. Shake out the spirit of death and hell in that head. Shake it out. Shake, 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 shake. You shall not die but live to declare the works of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray for your children here. At any power that wants them to die, shall die. And you shall not die but live to declare the works of God. Every covenant of untimely death, every ordination of untimely death, every voice of untimely death assigned against your life, I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Something is happening here today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Within the next few minutes, liquid fire shall fall upon this place from heaven to melt away stubborn situations. As we pray that prayer, if you are in this meeting today, you can remember that somebody placed a curse on you. Maybe it's your parents. Maybe it's a former husband. Maybe a former boyfriend, former girlfriend. And you can see the outworking of that curse upon your life. Find a way to this altar. And let your voice be loud. Let nobody's voice overshadow your voice. Because the angels are still around. And they have work to do before they leave. Somebody here this morning will pray this prayer. And by the time we close from here, your phone will ring. And your breakthrough begin to manifest. Can you shout this loud and clear? Shout it louder than anyone here. Every curse of darkness upon my life. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. It is written, Jesus has delivered us from the curse of the law. For it is written, Cause be everyone that hangs upon the tree, that the blessings of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles. Anyone at the sound of my voice here, and you are laboring under any curse, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I command the curse to be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Break, 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is done. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There are 25 persons here. The enemy that has killed your business, that enemy has been disgraced now. Aha. And all those who are under witchcraft curses, I see the curses being sent back to the senders. Thank you, Jesus. Now with a loud voice, a voice that has confidence in your maker, you will now call on the God of Elijah to answer his name in your life. Say, Oh God of Elijah! Alive! Answer your name in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace and fellowship. Grace follow Jesus Christ. The love of God. The sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever.